Welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer Diamond, and I live a whole food, plant exclusive, sofas free, gluten free lifestyle for health and well being. And I just got back from a big haul. Uh, so let's take a look and see what I bought. So I. Um, <laughs> I ended up going to a few extra stores more than I originally planned. And yes, I had my weighted vest on um, when I was out. I also had a little uh, jacket on top. And um, I even have some <laughs> weights on my ankles and uh, just trying to stimulate as I walk around. And so I'll just go over some of the the stores and what I bought and the cost and show you as much as I can. I'm gonna show you everything actually. So the first thing I'll tell you is I went to Costco and um, gosh, I got so many wonderful things at Costco. So let me move this out of the way because this is not a Costco. And um, I am super excited because I'm really into papaya right now. And they had these beautiful organic papaya at Costco. So I got two of them and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying these. So we're gonna start with this. We got the papaya and I'm just gonna set them right over here. Two papaya and it looks like there's a fly in here so hopefully you can't see it. And then I got these um, organic mango, uh, six mango. So that's gonna be great. Um, I got some organic uh, kiwi. I was looking to see which kind of kiwi. This is the green kiwi and um, kiwi is so good. These are very soothing uh, fruits and um, healing fruits. So I got a lot of tropical stuff and then I got something that I've never had here, um, but I have had it as a juice when I was on vacation many, many years ago in Hawaii, my one time that I went there. Um, nope, I'm sorry, I've been there twice. Anyways, guava. Now this is not organic. It smells so good. My whole car was smelling of guava and I was just so excited. So this I'm excited to um, get into another time and um, this is a, a newbie for me. So I got the, the guava. I also went ahead and got some medjool dates. These are organic as well. And I tend to like to get these at Costco because they're a pretty good deal. Um, and I just put them in the freezer. So let me move some of this so we could see what else we got. Let's see, or maybe I'll just keep going here. Then I bought some organic cauliflower ready to go in the bag, which is really great. Um, I'm gonna move this. Oh my goodness, so much good, so much good stuff. I'm just gonna put this over here for a moment and keep going with the Costco grocery haul. I got these beautiful organic blackberries. Yum, I love berries. And um, I like getting a good deal. So I also got three organic English cucumbers. So we got those. And then I got some frozen, bags of frozen fruit. I've got the strawberries, organic strawberries. Ah. And I got some dark, sweet, organic cherries. I really need frozen mango and they were out, but they did have this on sale. So, and it has mango in it. So this is the organic daybreak blend, peaches, mango, strawberries, pineapple. So I figure, okay, I'll do that. And I knew that I was gonna get the fresh mango. And so I got all of this stuff here. And then I went ahead and got a refill of maple syrup organic. Um, and then I also got two of these six, uh, 14 ounce bottles of coconut water. This is the harmless harvest coconut water. I really wish that I could figure out another way because these come in plastic bottles. And when I have purchased the organic, uh, coconut or just any coconut, fresh coconut is what I meant to say. But it's, it's so even if I have help getting into it or whatever there, I have measured the coconut water in a coconut many times 
to get an estimate of what is the average amount of water in a coconut. And it's eight ounces, faithfully, <laughs> every time. So that's fine, right? These bottles are uh, 14 ounces, but the thing with the eight ounces of coconut water is most people would then enjoy the coconut, but I don't eat the fresh coconut. Um, I'm not a huge coconut fan, but most importantly, uh, it's saturated fat. And for me, it doesn't work. It, it um, increases my, you know, all my cholesterol. So I stay away from that. So if you have another suggestion for me, uh, let me know. But for now, I am doing this. I've tried to cut back on it because um, I used to really need to drink coconut water for uh, potassium issues, but I don't have any problems now. So this is more just like uh, for fun or if I am running low, it is uh, good for me to just have a little bit of something besides water. So anyways, that's great. And then for Todd, he has um, been making the switch. He has stopped for the most part uh, buying soda in our house, which is a huge thing because he was drinking I don't know, four, six maybe a day? Definitely more than two, you know. Um, and so he has moved on to apple juice. So I got him some of these, oh, some of these treetop apple juices and I got four of them. So here's two and there's two more right here. And um, let's see if I could, let's see if I could show you all my strength. <laughs> okay, um, so, you know, that is something that Todd will drink, and I um, am really happy for him and his progress, and so anyways, so let's see, is that everything? No, look at this behind me. I know this isn't food, but I did get some toilet paper, and it was on sale. I was really excited about that, and we got some Baby Bella organic mushrooms, um, which I love mushrooms. And then I also got some portobellos. Now I, this is a lot more portobellos than I, you know, probably need. And Todd's not a big mushroom fan, but, um, you know, I'll make it work. Can always grill them up. Then I got this beautiful bag of zucchini, organic zucchini, and it's a three and a half pound bag. Oh my goodness. Isn't this great? Okay, and then bananas, <laughs> bananas, <laughs> I got some bananas, and these are organic also. Now, sometimes I get them at Costco, and sometimes I get them at our natural grocer, and if I'm lucky, natural grocer sometimes has them where they're looking perfect for us, like they're all spotty, like these over here, I'll show you. And if they look like this, they'll sell them for 10 cents a piece. So, but today they didn't have it. So I got those. And um, let's see, I think that that is my, my haul from Costco. So let me move a little bit of this and I'm gonna show you what I got at the next store. Oh, you probably wanna know how much I spent here. Okay, let me grab that receipt. I got a few receipts here to share. So let's see, where is the Costco one? Oh, you know what else happened at Costco? I noticed that there was something that I had purchased there. It was actually a garden hose. And um, I saw that it was on sale today. So I, on my way out, I went to the counter and I asked them at the membership section, um, could I get the difference? And they said, if you bought it within 30 days, and you come and you ask us, then we will honor it and give you the difference. So what I had done was I, when I saw it on sale, when I was shopping, I took a picture so that it had the code up there for them. And she pulled it up and she said, it's been 31 days. So technically they're not supposed to, but she said, I'm going to do it for you. So yay. So she, she credited me back. Let's see, an extra $5.39 just for asking. So I thought, that's cool. And then um, I also was, was inquiring about some other purchases and seeing, you know, what their uh, return policy is, um, electronic stuff. And so anyways, 
they have a great return policy. Um, not a lot, electronics, I think, are a different story, maybe 90 days, but a lot of their stuff, you can sometimes 10 years. And um, Vitamix, if you, <laughs> which is buried behind the toilet paper, but Vitamix, you know, if you have an issue, they, they stand behind their stuff. Anyways, back to the haul. So um, just kind of scanning to make sure I showed you everything. Yes, so uh, a big spend for me at $208.92. And so that's what I did at Costco. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move some of this a little bit out of the way so I can show you what my next stop was. And I think I'll just put this back here. Okay, so let's see. The next place that I went to is, um, na, 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 na. Uh, let's see, aha, here it is, Natural Grocer. And that's local to our area in the West Coast. Um, it's just a, a place I've talked about and I just really love what they stand for. They have so many beautiful organics things and I just love it. So um, this is a small organic uh, pineapple. They had pineapple at Costco. It was not organic. It was double the size. It wasn't ripe. So I decided to wait and not get it. And so I got this smaller one. Um, so it's not the best deal. Costco had the best deal, but then it's not organic and so forth. Um, I got this beautiful, whoa, look at that. Beautiful um, green cabbage. And I, it was so big that um, a lot of times with these gigantic cabbages, I will ask is, you know, can, would it be okay? Can you cut it in a quarter? Or can you give me a half or whatever? Cause it was like this big. And I, I mean, I, I could have used it, but they said, sure. So they cut this for me. And so I'll just wash this and that'll be great. Those two things at Natural Grocer and then everything in this bag. Um, I got some sun-dried tomatoes that were organic and they were, it says Roma type. So here they are. I've never bought these before, but I decided to give it a try. Sometimes I have recipes or I try to do things with sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I don't have any organic tomatoes or any growing in my yard. So I don't have any that I could make myself. So I have that one. And then I got a can of garbanzo beans by Eden, no salt added. Um, and this is a 29 ounce. Sometimes they have sales, they did not, but I just like a backup every once in a while. If I don't have a chance to make them from scratch and put them in the freezer, then I kind of like that. And then we have, speaking of tomatoes, I got one of these, what kind is this? A Beef steak, well, I'm not sure, but this is an organic tomato. And then, um, yeah, I can't even read what that is. And then I also got two, oh, here's the other one, two Roma, organic Roma tomatoes there. So those are the tomatoes that I got. And I already had some tomatoes here, so I have plenty of tomatoes. <clears throat> La, a delicious garlic head. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? You know what I've learned about garlic is that if it has the this hairs on it, it's um, it's supposed to be better than if it's cut off. I am now I'm not remembering why. I think it had to do with where it's sourced from. I'll have to get back to you on that. But anyhow, I got a organic garlic and here's some bell peppers, one red one yellow. So I got those there. I got a few carrots. I didn't get a lot there, but you know, I have a few recipes and salads and different things that I'm planning on doing. And, and I have a lot of stuff here. So I just got some different things. One navel orange. I still have some oranges on my tree. Um, a lime, two onions. And um, so these are the purple onion and this one is the brown onion. And I think I have some sweet onion uh, in the pantry as well. So that is what I got at Natural Grocer today. And I'll tell you how much that was. Let's see, Natural Grocer, where are you? Oh yeah, so, oh, they even gave me a bag credit? No, they didn't, okay, so anyways, Da, 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 da. I just want to make sure I gave, told you everything. $31.13. So 
So that's for that small haul there. And um, I'm super excited when I can get things for a deal and when I can't that I can get things that are, you know, good, good food. You know, sometimes I go to these stores and it's just the produce doesn't look good. So I get disappointed. But this, I'm going to just move this aside. So I made two quick stops. So I'm going to go with this one first. This was our, our sprouts. And I grabbed this gigantic three-pound bag of wild bla uh, blueberries. They are not organic. I do have some organic in the freezer, but I can't find them in a large size. So I mix those up. Sometimes I'm able to get organic. Sometimes I'm not. I also got these beautiful radishes which I'm excited about. And that, that's the tag for the radishes. And then I got some Turkish apricots. Now these have um, sulfur di dioxide, which is a preservative in them. That's why they have this bright color. And I really have been wanting to find some that do not have that. Um, but I also didn't want to come home without any uh, because I'm hoping to um, you know, make, make some, some goodies with this. And Todd really likes them. And he actually prefers them looking like this. They're softer. He doesn't mind. So I got these. And then if I could find something somewhere else, then I, I could get them again or, or we can use this. But here's that. And these are not organic. They did not have organic. This is what they had. And then the last thing that I got were these organic strawberries and um, I can't wait till berries are really in season again and for us you know it's not quite yet but it is coming up so that is it though that's what I got from from sprouts this was from the other store and so sprouts was um, $31 and 21 cents isn't that funny natural grocers was $31 and 13 cents wow almost the same amount <laughs> okay and then the last place that I went I really was excited to find a few things was at Trader Joe's and Trader Joe's is another small store that we have uh, I guess Trader Joe's is, I think is really everywhere in the United States um, but at any rate I did da, 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 da. I found organic Turkish dried apricots no preservative you see the difference in the color so I will have these and Todd can have these let me see if I can show you well you could see right so that's the difference because it changes colors so I was so happy I was like yay so I got that and then I got some organic raspberries um, raspberries don't last you know very long so I either eat them really quickly or I try to buy them frozen but uh, lately I've been eating a lot of fresh berries I'm going through them so fast I went ahead and got those the ones at Costco because uh, I usually get my berries there they did they were out of the organic so I didn't get them um, but anyways back to Trader Joe's um, I did get some organic super sweet corn uh, for um, some of these recipes that I'm hoping to do uh, or even just to have for like a taco night. Um, Todd likes to mix it up uh, if we do a fajita night and we've been talking about maybe trying fajitas with um, jackfruit or uh, soy curls or something. I don't know. But anyhow, we have a small bag. Um, I could have gotten it at Costco, except they were out. They were out of mango and, and corn. And I don't eat a lot of corn, but anyhow, that's what I have. And my last thing is something that I haven't gotten in a long time, but um, I decided to get. It's the Cruciferous Crunch Collection. And it is basically kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage mixed up. And I think this is a great snack, and it's easy when I'm running uh, low on time, and so I grabbed it. I've got a lot of kale right now and other beautiful lettuces um, that I've been gifted from a friend who I helped 
uh, in her garden. And so I didn't get a lot of greens this time, but this is what I got. And so the Trader Joe's uh, receipt is $14.98. And that, my friends, is my grocery haul. I don't go every week. I go when I need to go. So um, we'll see how long this lasts. And uh, I appreciate you you know, your interest in seeing what I get when I do a haul. This, of course, did not include the farmer's market. This is not a farmer's market day, but I will try to do some of those in the near future. And so don't forget to eat your greens. Um, it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, if, and you'll be notified when I go live or post new videos. Give me a thumbs up. I would so appreciate your support and in helping my channel grow. And of course, let's always chat. I, I'm available to chat with you. Please leave a comment below. Um, are some of these familiar? Are there any questions that you have about anything you saw? Do you shop at the same stores at me? What kind of stores do you shop at if they're different? And so on. So anyways, take care everyone. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Don't forget, crunch on some greens. Bye. <laughs>